Welcome back to part two of our series on how to use the framework server router. In this part, we are going to import some data from our service in order to display food uh, data in the application. And we're also going to um, pass some parameters through the URL of our app, um, which can then be um, translated through the framework server router. And as a last step, we're going to um, beautify the whole application a bit so it looks more pretty. So let's dive into it. In this application, I have created a, a service which has two methods. Um, one is called getMenu and it will return an array of dishes. And another method which is called getDish. And it gets an ID as a parameter and it will um, return additional details for this dish. Like for example, what's the name of the dish, uh, how much does it cost and, um, and so on. So let's first um, get the get this being displayed on our main site. So we go to home.view and uh, we're going to use this list basically. And as you can see, I've already prepared a little bit. Um, we're importing our service. Um, this service is basically a mocked service. So we just uh, read some uh, food data from my hard drive. But this could be anything. It could be a REST service, it could be a GraphQL service, whatever you name it. But the, for the purpose of this demo, we just use this. And it will populate the data method of Vue.js and simply call service.getMenu. And this will return an array of all the dishes that are available. Okay. So let's see. We're going to use uh, the v4 syntax and for dish and dishes. So dishes this year is this. Okay. So it will use the data from the data object. And what is it complaining? We bind key. Okay. So. Um, we have to define the key attribute for Vue.js here. So we key and whoops, what we can use, um, actually this is the key and, and we can use the ID of a dish. So Okay, so this will help to identify each um, element from the array. And we have to give it a title. So we call it dish.name. Um, if you're asking yourself, where do you get the properties from? Uh, you can look into the uh, dishes.js file here. Here we have all the uh, dishes information like the ID, the name, description, price, and an image. Um, and our service JS will get the information from this dishes JS and um, return it through these methods. Okay. Okay, so we have the name and the last thing we have to do is a link to the uh, dish page. Okay, like this. And I think, I think this should work. Uh, almost, almost. What did I miss? Oh yeah, we have to bind the title. So there we go. So now it's um, showing the name of the dishes. We have chicken masala and we have beef salad. So when I click this, I get redirected to the dish site, and if I press back, I go back to the to the uh, menu page. So far, so good. Now, the the problem and here is when we click um, one of those items, and we now have to display the data in our dish page over here. 
we just don't know uh, which uh, which foot was clicked. And this is actually where our our router comes into play, because what we can do is we can pass parameters, and uh, you do that by um, Type, typing like this ID. So um, basically, we can um, do something like uh, I don't know, 23, and it would pass this ID um, to the dish side. Okay, we we haven't handled this yet, um, but if we do, it should work. So let's go to our dish page. And now we need some scripting. And as you might know, in Vue.js we have the data object, uh, which actually is a function and it returns an, an object literal. And we call this just, uh, just dish maybe, yeah. And so what we should be uh, use here, uh, the answer is quite simple. We're going to use our service, oops, uh, service. And as you might remember, the service has a method called get dish with an ID. So let's use that. Uh, so we go service dot get dish and pass in the ID. Oops. Okay, let's save it. Um, now the problem is where do we get the ID from? And the answer is quite simple from our rotor. So what we do is we call this dot dollar f7 router dot params dot id okay so this will extract um, the id from the url okay so uh, let's see if this worked by just displaying the name of the dish, which will be uh, dish dot name. Let's see. Mm. Oh yes, I forgot to to pass in the um, to pass in the ID when you actually click one of these items. So let's go back to our home.view file and check our link. So as you can see, this link um, is just directly um, pointing to dish, but the, the ID is missing over here. So we need the ID, like what, what is the ID? Is it 23 or 24? Is it one or whatever? Um, and the ID is already um, in our dishes JS see each each food or dish has an ID. So we're going to use that. Um, so we want something like dish slash zero for our first one and dish slash one. Now the problem is how do we put this in? And this is actually where um, a filter comes in. So we're going to bind this attribute and we call it uh, dish. And we're going to use a filter which I've defined before, so which is called to URL, and I've defined it over here. See filters and a method called to URL, and it gets the dish and it's basically going to parse out the ID of that dish and transform the whole thing into a string. See, so if we save this and go back to our app and reload, whoa, there's an error. Why is there an error? OK, 
carry property name of undefined. Oh, okay. So let's go back. Oops. Okay. Uh, so if we inspect our DOM here, see now each um, item is linking to slash this slash the ID. So in this case, the first one is zero and the second one is one. So dish slash one. So if I click this, it's probably gonna, yeah, it's throwing an arrow. And the reason for this is that in our dish page, there's something going on. Yeah, dish is, uh, seems to be undefined. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's called route, not router. Okay, save it. And let's try again. Click it, there you go. So now it's displaying chick masala, basically, which is this name. Okay, so um, at this point, you've already learned the most important stuff of the rotor, which is uh, you can define routes from URLs to components. Um, you can define a default page whenever a route is not found. And you can define um, additional IDs to, um, or actually whatever, you, you, could add, you could add even more parameters. It won't have to be an ID. In most cases, it is an ID because it makes more sense, but basically you can pass in anything you want. And then in the target component or target page, you can then extract the parameter through um, through this piece of code here and then bind the data to our component. So at this point, um, you've already learned the most of the most important stuff. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to um, clean this up a little to make this a little more pretty. And that's it, I think. So what I wanted is I uh, use a card here. So let's see if I make seven card. Uh, no, that's not it. For view. Mm. Okay, there's this is a tricky one. Do you, do you see this URL? It's called v1.framework7.io. So this is the documentation for the old version of framework 7. Uh, currently, we're already at version 2.x or also known as v2. So you have to watch out, go to the documentation where it doesn't say v1 in, in, the, um, in the front of the URL. So we click this one. And uh, no, that's not this. this one here, cart. And we are going to steal. Um, I think we're going to steal this piece of code here and just copy it in here. And we use the name of the dish as the header. We don't need a footer, so we remove this. Okay, I, I saved this and you can already see that uh, we have our title here. Next thing in the content, we're going to output the uh, description of the food. Dish dot uh, description. So there we go. We have our description. And let's also add some uh, an image. Image source equals uh, dish dot. Uh, I think it's image dot source. Save it. Okay, that's a little too big. So let's add some styling. I'm going to use an inline style here because it's just a little easier. Um, and let's add some border radius as well because it looks prettier. 
Mm. Where is my border radius? Radius, age, oh, pixels. Okay, so now we have our image, we have our title. And that's pretty much it. So let's go back to our homepage. And click this. And as you can see, we have our chicken masala with the image and the text. And if we go back, uh, we see our beef salad image. So that's pretty much it for today. Hope you learned something. If you have questions, just uh, ask in the in the in the comment section below. Um, um, let me also know which kind of topics you are more interested in um, in upcoming videos, what you would like to learn, or which um, parts you might not understand. Um, and as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the button. Um, and if you click on the, uh, on the bell icon, you will get notified whenever you get a new um, video to watch. And if you want, you can also follow me on Twitter on twitter.com slash timo underscore ernst. And that's it. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.